Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about AWS Amplify. So as I told you in the previous videos, like um, I showed you AWS App Sync and, and how we can utilize it to create apps and all. But uh, this Amplify is like um, in one place, you can manage this uh, graph, QL, DynamoDB, AppSync, Cognito, CloudFront, S3, everything in one place you can configure it rather than going individually. And moreover, it also generates a cloud formation template in order to implement all these things. So let's proceed to the... So I will just show you the official content over here. So AWS Amplify will stack web and mobile application in hours you can create. And the most important thing, you know, like you, if you want to follow the type of practices, so you can easily follow this. So like it has like uh, full support to all the use cases and uh, like there is a code comment, like from where you want to pick up the code and all and from deployment point of view, staging environment, production environment, different, different environments also you can provide. So basically it is like a backend also, we can say, with uh, we can have an AWS Cognito over there in order to provide authentication for for your application. Plus, we can also have a, a data from the DynamoDB. We can have a storage from the S3, and many more. We can configure the notification services also. So we have a two major components over here. Like we have a, a front end that is help to design the code and connect the UI to the back end also. So we can easily deploy and also test our applications and all those things can be done within one place. So let's check over here. I'll just refresh my page. So you can just type it over here in the services. Amplify. So you can see, I will just create a, you want to build the app, host the app, and just go with the build and app. So if you don't want to build the app, you just want to host the app, that also can be done. So it's quite flexible. So I'm just putting over here the app name, let's say AWS Amplify Demo. Okay, in the meantime, before getting confirmed, I will just open over here Cloud Formation. I can show you like it's creating a full stack over here. Okay, let's click over here, confirm deployment. It will take some time. You can see uh, it's like going to uh, create all the components and all. So it can, such that you can manage your hosting and background, uh, back environment. So if you check over here, in the stacks uh, you can refresh over here so still not we will just wait for it it's still setting up basically it will take some time Okay, so you can see the spinning up these resources, creation in progress. So created on Linux, created by this, AMP Amplify admin. So make it sure once you finish this demo, uh, delete your um, app from here. Otherwise, it will be like huge amount will be coming to your account. So you can see uh, it's for hosting also, just for hosting. Full stack CACD pipelines and all everything you can set up. So just we are in. So you can see launch the studio, continuous deployment, not set up, and all these things are there. Let's click on this launch studio. So you can choose over your hosting environment. Like from where you're going to pick up the source code and all, connect the branch and all, and the backend environment. 
even you can also go ahead with the local setup instructions over here given over here connect your app to this backend environment using mp5 cli by running the following commands so there are few instructions are given if you want to run it locally like how to install and all okay it's taking some time to load Okay, there were some network issues. Okay, you can see your creation is being completed in the cloud formation stack. And this Amplify Studio is loading. So you can see in the meantime, you can just check over here. If you have uh, Windows, you need to follow this. And the steps are given. And then once you configure, you can use the dev environment basically. These are all prerequisites are given over here and key practices. Everything is given over here. Okay. If you want to locally configure. So this is our Amplify Studio. You can see local setup instructions are also given over here. If you wish to set up this whole thing in your look. Now, if you talk about the content, now before that, talking about the content, let's I will show you. Like you can see, you can have a data model, you can have a, you can view in it the app content, configure login and sign in, then exclude the UI development also. That is being made in Figma to clean the React code and all, and bind the UI to the backend. So these things you can easily do it over here, and you can see it is showing the deployment activities. So let us. The point to the second one creation is in progress and it is also created the back end. Now let's let's see over here one more thing. We will go to the Dynamo DB also. Dynamo DB plus we will go to the app sync. Just a second. Okay. So we can have a look over here. Currently there is nothing is there. And we can go to the DynamoDB uh, tables over here. You can see nothing is there. So let's go to my studio, back to the studio. So let's go to the content. Uh, create a data model over here and even before that you can see over here test the graphs ql api also so we we'll create a model add model let's say let's say um, let's say customers okay model name must be capitalized so that's it so I'm just putting over here ID, add field, see name, and then add field, see address, anything you can type it over here. Save and deploy. And deploy. So you can see deploy the model. It goes to the amplify. From the Amplify to the App Sync, then to the Dynamo TV. So you can see it, it's showing you the whole uh, picture, like now it has been deployed. Now we'll cross check over here in the App Sync. It may take some time to reflect. 
no API is found. We'll just refresh. Uh, let's check at the DynamoDB also. Okay, so this is the table being created. So you can see over here, it's still loading. Okay, so these things are not defined over here. Okay, so just if you want to explore the items, you can see nothing is there currently. View table details if you want to see. So this is related to the data store. So let's check our app sync once. Okay, so you can see over here, we are getting over here, demo staging. Now, if you check the data sources, you can see none of their schema. This is the customer input. So this is the ID address that I have created over here. So you can see, these are my queries over here. See, we are not getting anything. It's null because uh, there is no value over here. We need to provide the ID of the customer. Let's say one. So it is null over here. Okay, so that's all in the app sync. So let's do one thing. We will go back to our studio over here. Okay, so this deployment is there. Now, next thing is, okay, I will show you over here. I still deploying, it takes some time. We can just check the deployment activity. Anyways, let's we will go to the user management. We can have groups over here. We can have users over here. We can set up the authentication over here from the scratch or reuse some existing cognitive resources. And we can configure the login. We can add the login mechanism over here. So we can also have multi-factor authentication. And if user wants to sign up, what attributes you will be adding to it. So you can choose from here. So no need of worrying about authentication and all, it's already there. We can just redirect that particular URL. So you might have seen my video on AWS Cognitive User Pools. The same thing that has been created over here. Now, if you talk about the storage over here, so we can also set up the storage by default from the storage uh, again you need to set up the authentication the basic thing then only you can go to the storage so you can see if i click on the storage you will need to set up the authentication before deploying the storage by default the storage will go to the um, s3 functions if you have any lambda functions if you're invoking any lambda functions then graphql api you can see this demo is there it's already added over here so we can update. Then if you're having some REST APIs, analytics, um, if you want to kinesis and all those things, streams and all, Amazon kinesis. So if you want that prediction, the machine learning and all those things, text extract and all, if you want to use it, anything related to this, you can use in the predictions, interactions also, we can have AI based chatbots and all, and we have the notifications also push notifications also we can also have it so you can see in one place we can set up everything over here then there is one ui library is there that's a new feature that is being added so you can see create customer form so you can see 
So you can copy the code and that's it. You can just, so if you want to configure it, you can also configure it. You can see. It's like just uh, use this component. You can just directly use this initial project setup also if you want to make it. So this is the whole UI library. It's a very interesting uh, new feature that is being added. So you can also sync with Sigma. Might install your export a scalable code and all. So paste your Figma link and uh, view UI theme, whichever you want to pick up the theme. So you can see custom update form is also there, components. So this is uh, quite a new thing that is being added to this uh, design part of the Amplify Studio. So let's go back to even you can have file browser like for images, videos, and audios that are being added, but you have to make it sure it is being stored in the Amazon S3. So this is the one place management for everything. So you can easily utilize, you can see select table customer. Let's create some customers over here, let's say. Okay, let's create. So you can see the user has been created. Now, if I go back to my app sync over here, I didn't check the ID. Let it be. So this is our basically the customer table. So we can get live item count, start scanning. Oops, there is only one item. We can explore table items like this also. So you can see there is one customer. And if you want to edit something, you can edit here also. So you can see the customer ID is this one. So I'll just, you can just see the details over here. So I'll just copy this one, partition key, copy. Then I'll go to the app sync. I'll just put it over here. And then query my record. So you can see, oops. So we need to choose over here what are the else things you wanted. I want to see the name and all, so you can, this is how you can utilize it. So if you want to uh, list all the customers, you can just click here. That's it. Basically, it is with the token and all you need to add the authentication things and all. So I hope yeah, you understood like how we can utilize this AWS Amplify Studio. But uh, make it sure once you finished running this uh, samples and all, make it sure you go to the all apps and select this one and just go to delete. Otherwise, a huge bill will be coming to you because it is spinning up multiple resources. If you see the cloud form is over here, you can see they are in the stacks. There are four stacks are being created. So better once you finish up the hands-on, then you can just delete. That's all for the AWS MPY. I hope you like my video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel.